If you're looking for the next explosive opportunity in the AA chip maker world, then pay close attention because I've got two tiny chip maker penny stocks trading under $1.5 that are catching serious momentum from the Wall Street. And for good reason. These are not just any fly by night micro cap stocks. These are real companies making real breakthroughs in the AI and quantum tech space. Anthe Reed trading at bargain valuations, with cutting edge technologies already being integrated into mission critical systems. They're generating buzz for all the right reasons. From autonomous vehicles to quantum computing, these companies are carving out niches in industries that are not only booming right now, but poised to define the next decade. So, if you're serious about investing and want to position yourself early in companies that could see massive gains, make sure to watch this video till the end. And if you're a new year, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss an update on the hottest stocks in the market. Let's aim for 100 likes on this video so more people can reach and benefit from this info. Now let's get straight into it. The first stock on our list is Valence Semiconductor Liberty, trading under the ticker symbol VLN on the New York Stock Exchange. Currently priced at just $2.38 per share, this small cap chip maker might be flying under Wall Street's radar, but it's quietly positioning itself as one of the most innovative players in the AI driven semiconductor space. Valence is an Israeli fab semiconductor company, which means it doesn't manufacture its own chips, but focuses entirely on designing them and outsourcing the production. This fab model not only allows Valence to remain asset light, but also ensures it can pour its resources directly into innovation research and the development of high-performance connectivity solutions. And that's exactly what it's been doing, especially with the release of its VA 7000 chipset lineup which is now being integrated in a D3 embedded MEI API platform for embedded vision applications. Now, what exactly does that mean? Well, to put it in perspective, the API platform is a communication standard developed for speed, long distance camera processor connections. And it's critical for applications in fields like robotics, industrial automation, autonomous vehicles, and medical imaging. The VA 7000 chipsets are the core of this setup. They enable seamless high-speed data transfers across distances exceeding 30M, even in environments with high levels of electromagnetic interference. That's a huge achievement because traditional data transmission methods often struggle with signal degradation over long distances and in noisy settings. But with Valence APY compliant chipsets, those problems are effectively eliminated. One of the standout features of Valence VA 7000 chipsets is their multi gigabit capability over both unshielded twisted pair UTP and micro coaxial cables. This gives system designers flexibility in balancing mechanical requirements, cost, and weight depending on the use case. The MIPI Apple standard used in these chipsets also ensures excellent electromagnetic compatibility, which guarantees that signals remain stable and interference free a vital requirement in sensitive industrial and medical environments. Plus, these chipsets come with built-in diagnostic capabilities, allowing real-time link monitoring and predictive maintenance, making them ideal for around-clock operational systems. Balan's latest success with the APY chipset integration into D3's platform isn't a one-off. It's a signal that the company is deeply embedded in mission critical systems and establishing long-term strategic relationships from automotive systems to factory automation and even advanced medical imaging platforms. Vanes is expanding its footprint across high-growth industries that demand reliability, performance, and scalability. And all of this is coming together at a time when AI, computer vision, and edge computing are becoming foundational technologies across nearly every industrial sector. But Valence isn't just making noise on the product side. Its financials also paint a promising picture. In its most recent quarterly report, the company posted revenues of $16.80 million, exceeding its own guidance range of $16.3 million to $16.6 million. That beat signals not only strong execution, but also growing demand for its solutions. The company also achieved a GA gross margin of 62.9% which was well above its forecasted range of 60.8%, 8% to 61.3%, 
that that's significant because it means Valence is maintaining strong pricing power and efficient production, even in a market where many other chip makers are seeing margins compressed due to competition and inflationary pressures on the profitability side. Vanes reported an adjusted EBITDA loss of $4.3 million, which fell within its guidance range of $4.5 million to $4.20 million, while the company is still operating at a net loss. It's doing so in a controlled and disciplined manner, investing in growth without burning cash recklessly. The company's cross-industry segment generated $11.7 million in revenue, which is approximately 70% of total revenue, while the automotive segment contributed $5.1 million, or 30% of total revenue. This diversified revenue stream means that Valence ISN totally dependent on one specific industry for growth, which adds resilience to its business model. When we look at its non-GAAP gross margin, it comes in even stronger at 66.7%. That's an impressive figure for any tech company, let alone one trading under $3 that operating expenses totaled $20 million, and its GAAP net loss was $8.3 million, equating to a loss of 0.08 per share. However, on a non-GAAP basis, that loss narrows down to just 0.03 per share, again, reflecting tighter operational controls and a clearer path toward profitability. Most importantly, the company is sitting on $112.5 million in cash and short-term deposits with zero debt. That kind of balance sheet flexibility gives Valence the ability to weather market volatility and continue investing in its high-margin growth initiatives without worrying about short-term liquidity. Inventory levels were reported at $10.9 million as soft March 31st. 2025, which indicates good supply chain management and readiness to fulfill increasing demand. For the upcoming quarter, the company has guided revenue in the range of $16.5 million to $16.8 million in gross margins between 63% to Arbiton and Gasadavida. Their adjusted abida loss ICE expected to remain in the range of $4.9 million to $4.4 million, a sign that while they're still in investment mode, they're operating within predictable and controlled financial parameters. Despite all this strong execution, Valence stock price has taken a 12% hit over the past month. But this dip has nothing to do with the fundamentals of the company, that it's a result of broader market sentiment and investor rotation out off small cap tech, not a reflection of anything going wrong at Valence. In fact, if anything, this price drop presents a compelling buying opportunity for investors who understand the long-term potential of this company. With solid technology, growing revenue, expanding in markets, and a pristine balance sheet, Valence Semiconductor ISO own of those rare penny stocks with real fundamentals and explosive upside potential as the market rebounds. The second stock on our list is Indy Semiconductor Rated, trading under the ticker symbol Indy on the NASDAQ. Currently priced at just $1.83, Indy Semiconductor has been gaining attention for its bold foray into two of the most high-impact technology verticals of our time automotive semiconductor systems, and quantum technologies. This company is no ordinary chip maker. Indy is at the intersection of photonics, quantum computing, and intelligent mobility. And it's carving a name for itself by delivering innovation where it's needed most. On July 14th, Indy Semiconductor made headlines with the release of its latest breakthrough technology, the LX Simulacer. This is not just a routine product launch. This ultra, Low noise laser has the potential to redefine how quantum technologies like quantum computing and quantum key distribution QKD function. The LXMU laser delivers frequency noise levels that are 10 times lower than competing technologies. This matters because in quantum systems, even a slightest variation or instability can throw off an entire process. The LXMU's unmatched stability means it can run locked operations for days without drift, which is a game share for secure quantum communication and other precision demanding applications. What makes this product even more remarkable is its design flexibility. Indy Semiconductor has built the LXMU to be highly modular, allowing it to be co-packaged with other lasers or photonic integrated chips. This allows customers to integrate their proprietary designs with Indy's laser tech to build powerful, customized Fedonis engines. Essentially, Indy isn't just selling a chip. It's enabling its customers to build the future off-flight-based computing, communication, and sensing. 
This unique approach opens the door to collaborations across various industries from advanced scientific research to cybersecurity to next gen automotive LAR systems. And Indy's reach doesn't stop at Quantum. The company has a strong footprint in the automotive semiconductor space as well. It's building platforms that support advanced driver assistance systems, ADAS, instant user experiences, and vehicle electrification. This gives India a multi-pronged growth strategy where it can scale revenues from both existing markets and futuristic applications. When it comes to financials, India's semiconductor posted revenue of 54.1 million in its most recent quarter, which represents a 3.3% year-over-year increase. While that growth might seem modest, it's important to remember that Indy is playing a long game, and the underlying drivers behind this growth are extremely high-margin technologies that are still in the early stages of commercialization. The company's gross margin was 49.5%, which is solid for a company investing heavily in advanced R&D. Speaking of R&D, Indy's research and development expenses came in at $30.80 million. That's a strong commitment to innovation and a clear indication that the company is doubling down on future growth. Selling general and administrative SGN expenses were recorded at $1.10 million, showing controlled overhead spending. However, the company did miss on EPS expectations, reporting a loss of minus 0.18 per share, against a forecast of minus 0.08. But again, for a company investing so heavily in disruptive technology, Near-term losses are to be expected and even necessary. What matters more is that India is well capitalized. As of the latest report, the company holds a cash balance of $246.9 million, down slightly from $284.5 million in the previous quarter. But even with that dip, this is a strong war chest that gives Indy more than enough breathing room to continue funding its ambitious roadmap. With no immediate need to raise capital, Indy can afford to focus on product development, strategic partnerships, and customer acquisition without dilution or financial stress. And here's the most exciting part. The highest 12-month price target for Indy stock is currently $17, according to Craig Hall. That's more than a 300% upside from current levels. If Indy continues executing and its new laser and quantum technologies gain traction,